Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I want to do a review of the complete web developer in 2024 uh, online course by Zero to Mastery on the Zero to Mastery program. Uh, they call it a boot camp, but you know, realistically, uh, you know, it's it's just an online course. Uh, not to say that it's bad, but you know, it's an online course. There's nothing like uh, boot camp like about this. Um, it claims to be one of the most popular, you know, online uh, coding boot camps. So um, I'm going to talk about essentially answer the question of like, is it actually worth it? Like, if you're trying to get a your first developer job, maybe maybe you're switching careers, or you know you're trying to I don't know, like you're out of college and you're trying to get some actual. Uh, you know skills as a developer is it actually worth it and how does it compare to uh, other you know courses or programs because i have reviewed the you know like the facebook i mean the meta uh front end and back end developer certificates on coursera uh is this better or is zero to mastery better you know there are plenty of other things like plural site linkedin learning uh team treehouse uh a bunch of stuff udemy you name it um, so uh, first I want to say that this course here used to be on Udemy, uh, but it's not on Udemy anymore, uh, which is too bad because Udemy had this course for, you know, pretty cheap. It was like, you know, depending on the discount, it was like $15 or $20. Uh, but I'm going to talk about the, the, the current pricing later on. But yeah, uh, it's not on Udemy anymore. It seems to me like they replaced the course with this one, Complete Web and Mobile Developer and Mobile Designer. Uh, oh wait, no, this is actually for design. No, never mind. Okay, so they completely just took it off uh, Udemy. My guess is that that's probably because it's it it was very uh, a very uh, good course, very successful. So they put it on their platform just to you know just make more money. Uh, that's basically it. So, first of all, how long is it going to take to complete? The description here says it takes 40 hours. Uh, you know, after doing some research for multiple hours and actually looking at the syllabus and the lessons and the projects and the assignments, I can tell you for sure there is no way this is going to take 40 hours. It's going to take at least three times that, 120 hours. Uh, if you want to do things well, it's going to take at least 120 hours there's no way this is going to last you know 40 hours so you know if you depending on the time that you spend you know each day or each week uh, i would say if you if you do like fi five hours uh a week that would be a reasonable you know time investment it's about 24 weeks so it's going to be about six months so uh, i would say you know at five hours a week you can complete the entire program here in six months and um, you know complete the whole thing like doing it really well as far as the pricing goes uh, I'm gonna go on the pricing page here um, all of the programs by zero to mastery are actually included in the subscription plan that they have here so it's $39 a month or $279 uh, per year um, you know, if you're going to do it for six months, then, you know, I haven't actually, yeah, it'd be pretty much the same actually monthly and annual if it actually takes six months. So depending on how much time you plan on investing every single week, then, you know, get the annual or monthly. There's, you know, I think there's no reason to get the lifetime, uh, subscription. It's like, you know, a thousand dollars. And you just pay once and you get access to everything, but you don't need to have access to everything. You just need to have access to maybe a few programs and just having one is fine. So, you know, unless you have a very specific reason for getting lifetime, I don't think it's really worth it. Um, I am going to include a link in the description of this video with a discount code. You know, I just want to be totally transparent with you. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be a an affiliate link. So if you do end up purchasing a subscription from zero to mastery, then I will get a, a commission. So it'd be nice, you know, if you uh, if you want to support my small channel, then that would be nice. Anyways, so is it actually worth it? Is this program actually worth it? Uh, this program with the stuff that you're going to learn, uh, you know, just um, uh, if you look at the syllabus, 
this is actually a full stack web developer uh, program, meaning that you know if you're not aware of this, there are two types essentially of web developers. You have the front end developers and you have the back end developers. Front end developers are going to take care of like the visual aspect of things. It's actually a lot more complex than it sounds. And then back end developers are going to take care of the under the hood, uh, you know, technology stuff. Uh, which in, it's not that one is better than the other in terms of salary it's pretty much going to be the same they're probably going to be more front-end jobs than back-end jobs but the scope of things that you're going to need to to learn is going to be much higher if you choose back-end but anyways in this case for this course here you don't have to choose between front-end and back-end it's going to be full stack so it's front-end and back-end all right so I just want to be clear here that um, you know if you're if your um, your plan is to get a a job your first job as a developer and you don't have any training in software development or computer science I don't necessarily think it's a good idea to get this course here because you know the scope of things that you're going to learn there, there's a it's a pretty broad scope like why would you want to learn all of these things you're definitely going to get a job i mean you are but there are ways of getting your first developer job while having a smaller scope of like the things that you that you that you have to learn so for example i'm going to go to a uh, like career path and instead of becoming a full stack web developer you know becoming a front end developer that is a much more reasonable uh, thing to do it's going to take less time uh, you're going to be more of an expert in that specific area and if you want to become a full stack developer later on it's a lot easier okay so uh, you know if you don't have like a specific reason for becoming a full stack developer which is what this is which is you know this course is aimed at like making you a full stack developer I would go to you know front end it's easier you're going to be paid the same it's going to be faster but anyways if you still want to get this course is it actually worth it is it actually uh, something that is going to get you a job uh, if uh, in terms of expectations uh, for like how much you can get how much you can make uh, the salary I actually have some statistics here from indeed and as a web developer in the United States the average base salary is you know 81 uh, K more than that uh, but here there's a little caveat obviously it depends on the company if you work in like the you know giant tech companies like Google and so on it's going to be more than that smaller companies is probably going to be less than that but generally speaking you know tech salaries are are, are pretty good uh, the thing to remember here as well is that web developer it's a pretty broad term you know I look for web developer in the United States there are so many types of developers you can be a front-end developer you can be back-end you can be full stack you can you can be a Django uh, full stack developer working with react you can be you know there's a ton of stuff so there are lots of factors to take into account but generally speaking this is going to be the average base salary if this is going to be your first job as a uh, web developer don't expect to get this okay this is after uh, you know having a few years of experience uh, you should expect to get about at least you know 40k or 50k depending on your profile and where you live as well uh, what I would be more excited is about would be the uh, you know the earning potential as a developer the earning potential is huge because it's a huge hugely valuable skill uh now um now as far as this course goes actually you could go on the internet and uh learn all of the skills that are listed here on your own like on youtube and stuff but this course is actually pretty well put together and you know the value really of zero to mastery in general is that it's more comprehensive than other platforms it's going to be more comprehensive than youtube stuff it's going to be more comprehensive than like linkedin learning or pearl site or udemy and stuff like that it's very up to date uh which is a big deal you know in tech if your courses are not up to date meaning like you didn't update them in more than a year then it's a big problem especially you know with this course you're learning about technologies that are fairly um 
that are evolving rapidly, like uh, you know React, Node.js, certainly machine learning. So it's very important to actually get something that is constantly getting updated, which is the case with this course and in general with Zero to Mastery. Uh, in terms of what to expect, you know, it's going to be uh, video classes uh, with some, you know, reading assignments as well. You ha you're going to have some quizzes and assignments. So it's uh, mostly video content, very detailed, and you're going to get projects as well. So actual like coding, and this is hugely valuable. This is stuff that like, you know, at the end of this course, you're actually going to get a certification to show your, you know, perspective like employers. Your employers, and I'm talking here as you know, someone. I'm like the lead developer in my company. I have helped you know with uh, like uh, job interviews when we wanted to hire uh, developers. And I can tell you that if you have a certification, that's not necessarily something that we're going to be looking at. It's a small plus, yes, but what we're going to be looking at is this, like your actual projects. We want to know can you actually code, and this is what we're going to take a look at. Uh, um, for to determine whether or not you can code. Uh, this is much more important than any piece of paper or any certification that, that you may get. Uh, the other good thing here is, well, you know, after finishing the entire program, you'll have all of those things on your portfolio, you know, for like your projects. And you also have access to a Discord community. Uh, I don't have it here, but uh, there is a community uh, when that you get when you join this course. Uh, you know, with other people taking the same course, and you can ask questions, and they're very active. This is very surprising. I haven't found that on any other, you know, service or website uh, teaching uh, programming, but you're going to have access to a very active community. You can ask questions, and potentially, you know, uh, people with more experience are going to answer your questions, potentially. All right, and so in terms of like your chances of getting a job uh, after completing your after completing this program, um, there's a high chance that you're going to get a job. It's probably not going to be at Google or that kind of stuff. But you know, nowadays, you know, companies they can't find. Uh, and you know, again, I I've been on the like recruiting uh, end of this. My managers are always telling me like we can't find uh, developers. Right? It's really hard to find developers who know what they're doing. They're always you know th these you know kids. Who studied I don't know like some uh, you know like a course in high school a programming course and they're applying but uh, can they actually do you know react or node.js or you know JavaScript in general there's no guarantee of that so if you show up at a job interview uh, with this not really the certification but with those projects and you show uh, the people in the company look this is what I did and this is uh, you know I know how to do stuff they will definitely give you a shot. Like, you know, you're going to have to go to multiple job interviews, but at some point, it's going to work. There's no doubt about this. This is, you know, the, the, the skill set that you're going to learn in this course is pretty much, uh, it's very much in demand in my experience. All right, so that's basically it for this uh, review. Um, if you want to, if you, if you want to have alternatives, I encourage you to take a look at my educative.io um, uh, review. It's also another good site where you can, uh, you know, do like programs. They call them, you know, like career paths, and you can get uh, a tech job doing the career paths. So take a look at that. It's also pretty nice, and it's a little bit less expensive too. And see you in my next video.